a gene editing treatment for HIV was safely given to the first three adults enrolled in a small clinical trial, the therapy's developer, Excision Biotherapeutics, said Wednesday. Initial results from the study, presented at the European Society for Gene Cell Therapy in Belgium, showed no serious side effects or toxicity that would limit treatment. Two of the three study participants had transient and reversible elevations in their liver enzyme counts. Excision plans to increase the dose of its therapy, dubbed EBT-101, for evaluation in the next phase of the Phase 1 and 2 trial, which is set to enroll nine participants in total. The private San Francisco-based biotechnology company expects to report more trial data next year. EBT-101 is also an ambitious application of CRISPR-Cas9 technology. Excision's treatment delivers into the body via an adeno-associated virus, a DNA-cutting enzyme and two strips of RNA that act as a guide to direct. Currently, antiretroviral treatment can effectively suppress the HIV virus and thereby prevent progression to AIDS. But available drugs don't eliminate HIV that hides in pockets of the body known as viral reservoirs, a shortcoming EBT-101 could in theory address. Excision is enrolling HIV-infected adults who are stable on antiretroviral therapy into its study, which is taking place at sites in California, Missouri and New Jersey. EBT-101 was detectable in the blood four weeks after infusion in all three participants, and excision reported no evidence of the gene vector and tissue associated with male reproductive function. The company will continue to evaluate biodistribution of EBT-101 in the blood through the 48 weeks of the study, and expects to present updated findings in 2024.